Hey everyone, welcome back. I ordered some succulents and cacti online. They have just arrived. So I thought I would share with you the whole process of how to care for your new succulents when they arrive. And what are the things that you need to consider while planting your new succulents? Like what type of soil to use, what kind of pots would be perfect to plant them in, and how to plant them in those pots. Succulents and cacti are generally quite hardy and they do well without water for several days. Here you can see that the succulents arrived are in really good condition. The first thing you should do is carefully unpack your plants as soon as possible. The plants have been in a box for several days, so unpack them immediately. It's now evening, so I'll just unpack them and keep them in an airy, well-ventilated place. Nurseries ship the succulents either bare root or in small pots. If you get bare rooted ones like mine, you can directly plant them up and the succulents are generally shipped when their roots are almost dry. I'm really happy with the plants I received because all of them have healthy root system. Caring for a healthy succulent starts with choosing the perfect pot. The size of the pot, its material, whether it has drainage holes or not, all these things have a big effect on your succulent's growth. Here I have taken terracotta, plastic and ceramic pots for planting my succulents and cacti. Terracotta pots are a good choice for growing your succulents and cacti. They are porous so they let the water evaporate faster than the other materials. But whatever material the pots are made of, make sure that there are drainage holes in the pots so that the excess water can escape through the holes. And if your pot doesn't have drainage holes, don't forget to make them before planting. Now planting your succulent in a right size pot is another important factor to consider. When choosing the correct size pot, you need to consider the size of your succulent and size of its root ball as well. Look for a pot that is 10% wider than the plant and the pot should be deep enough to leave some space for the plant's roots to stretch and grow. Here I have taken some succulents of different sizes and their suitable size pots to give you an idea of what size pots to use depending on both the size of the plant and size of its root ball. Neither too big nor too small pots are good for your succulent's health. Having the right soil mix is very important for healthy growth of your succulents and cacti. You can use any well draining soil mix that you generally use for growing your succulents. Here I have mixed two parts of potting soil and two parts of coarse sand. Now I am adding one part of perlite into it. We are adding sand and perlite to the potting soil to make it less compact and to improve its drainage. Nowadays I also add some charcoal to my soil mix. It improves drainage and aerates the soil. It also absorbs impurities and odors. And as we all know, succulents and cacti do not like to sit in waterlogged soil. So drainage is important to prevent rot. This porous sandy soil mix is well draining and perfect for growing your succulents and cacti. You can use protective gloves or kitchen tongs when working with cactus. Or just fold a towel or paper wrap it around the top of the cactus and use it as a handle to move the plant into place. Now place the plant in the center, don't press the roots down and fill in around the root ball with soil. Then gently firm the soil. You can see that I have planted all my succulents and cacti. Now they are in their new home but I am not going to water them right away after repotting. 
the roots need some time to repair any damage from repotting so we need to wait for at least three to seven days depending on the succulent i'm working with and after that i will water them thoroughly now place your newly potted succulents in a bright shaded area for at least two to three weeks they need some time to acclimate and then gradually introduce them to direct sunlight so that's it for today i hope you found this video helpful please thumbs up if you did and if you are new here please consider subscribing to watch more videos from me thank you for now see you next time goodbye